we look at student work. For example, the ninth grade teachers will do paragraph writing and they will sit down and they'll bring the student work to the table. They'll analyze it. If somebody's having more success than others, the dialogue will be, how come your kids understood punctuation? You know, 80% of your kids got punctuation, 50% of my kids got it. What are you doing? And to me, that's the kind of data that I think has the most impact on the classroom. Are those teachers bringing their student work to the table, analyzing it, making decisions about what they're going to do, and going back into the classroom and do it? Data just tells you if the kids are getting it or not. Um, and uh, you use that to adjust instruction. I look at it to find out if um, we're truly designing down and delivering up as a high school. Um, I'm going to look at those 11th grade social studies, which would be global issues. And if I see gaps there, I'm going right back down to that ninth grade and figuring out why didn't they master this? It was your responsibility to master this at that point. Or, or was the concept too hard to master then? Do we need to bump that up to be a 10th grade piece? So my position, or what I do when I look at that data, is I need to look whole school to see if we're aligned, if we're truly spiraling the curriculum. I can tell that Smarter Planning, the University of Kansas um, content enhancement and SIM strategy pieces are working by, my, by looking at GPA, credits earned, attendance policies. I've got kids now that are coming, that are engaged in the learning, that are learning how to manage their own learning, which is also what you want to happen with using these devices. I think it's really important to listen to kids' voices, to our students' voices. And I do focus groups with kids, and I ask them questions about uh, what's happening in the classroom. And the teachers that are faithful to the devices and to smarter planning um, are lauded in these conversations with kids. You know, they understand it. They're um, again, they're able to manage their own learning because they're teaching them these devices. There's no surprises. The kids know where they're going. They know what their journey is like in that classroom because the teacher has told them from day one, this is the expectations and this is how I'm going to get you there. And they engage the kids in using those, um, those different devices and strategies to take charge of their own learning.